Hello, this is Pastor Mike Johnson from Tree of Life Church. Just want to talk to you and give you a little bit more of an update about what we're doing as far as the pandemic goes with this coronavirus. We're following uh, federal, local government guidelines as best we can. And so because of that, we're going to also be protecting the most vulnerable people of our church, which include, of course, those that are 60 years old and older, and even those with uh, pre-existing health conditions. Uh, those are things, again, that are very, very important for us. We love our people. We want to see you guys stay healthy. We also want to follow our government and the guidelines they've laid out for us. Uh, we're going through a very, very unusual time. We're treading new waters. This is something that churches have never gone through before in the recent history of our country and many nations of the earth. And so nobody has the exact right thing to do, but we're doing the best we can to talk to others, get counsel from others, and also follow the, the government guidelines. Now, the Apostle Paul, he almost faced death centuries ago back in Asia. And when he was in this time of despair, he wrote down 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, that says, God has delivered us, God does deliver us, and God will continue delivering us. So the good news is, no matter what we go through in life, it doesn't catch God by surprise. God has delivered us in the past. God is delivering us now, and God will continue delivering us until the Christ, until Christ returns or until we pass off from this earth ourselves. We want to also make clear um, our plan for our services. We're going to be going online starting this Sunday because they're now wanting to have 10 or less people in every gathering of churches and buildings, of course, across this metroplex and around the nation. We're going to meet Sundays at 10 o'clock in the morning in our sanctuary with a, a smaller praise team doing a couple of worship songs. I'll be doing a message there as well. And then Wednesday nights, we'll come back at 7 o'clock. And I'll be doing a message of teaching there, a series. I'll be starting on prayer and then kind of going from there as well as, as, well as having faith building messages and teachings. It'll really be an encouragement to you on Sundays and Wednesdays both. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to continue on with our series called Reinforcements for Sunday Mornings. And so you'll don't want to miss those. It'll be something that will help you out with your family, your faith, and even the times we're going through prophetically upon the earth. Um, the youth and children also are very important to us. They'll be being ministered to by our youth pastors, uh, Trey and Shay. Children's uh, ministry is being, uh, of course, still conducted there by, uh, by Kristen. And so they'll be doing things online. They'll be having fun things, meaningful things, messages, teachings, and keeping the children and the youth engaged. And the main thing we want to see happening here is connections, Need to keep on happening. We're going to still build relationships. We're going to do all we can to stay in contact with you and spend time uh, on telephones, on Facebook, on the media. And uh, we just know again that we're just, just know again we're available to you. And uh, we want to see folks again stay connected in this season, this time. We trust this time will be as short as it can be. As far as outreach goes, this is an excellent time to be reaching out to our neighbors, our friends, our family, our loved ones. I really encourage you to take and share the messages, the teachings that you're going to be receiving here uh, with your friends and family, because a lot of folks around us need hope. There's a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty. Uh, people, as you can see that by the lines at, at restaurants, you can see the people's faces. There's just a lot of terror. There's a lot of um, people going through panic and anxiety. We should be hope for people that are hopeless. We should be those that are encouraging those who need courage. We should be those who have answers for those who have questions. We should be those that are an example instead of part of the crowd uh, in this time of crisis in our country. We also want to tell you to be people, again, that do provide support to your neighbors, your friends, your loved ones. Let the church know, let us know as individually as pastors as well, our youth pastors, our children's pastors, our leaders of our church. Let us know if there's somebody who needs practical help. We'll do the best we can to see that needs are being met. We want to be able to reach out to folks as well in practical ways. As far as giving goes, you can be uh, able, you're just able to give, of course, online. Just go to treeoflifeaustin.org and go to the giving tab at the top of the page. You also can see there a place to text. You now can give by texting. And of course, you can still be, uh, you can still mail checks to the church made out to Tree of Life Church, T-O-L-C, and they'll come to our church uh, address. Um, also, uh, what we call snail mail today, that still works. We still receive offerings like that. Please be faithful, of course, with your, your offerings, your ties. It keeps us going and helps us to reach out to others and help others all, as well as, as seeing the needs being met on a daily basis at the church. 
We want to say again, we're praying for you. We're praying for our country. We're praying for people abroad. And we're praying this, that this whole thing will run its course as fast as possible. And even supernaturally, God keeps intervening there, protecting lives, protecting you, healing bodies. And we know that, again, this does not catch God by surprise. He is still able to take what looks like bad and turn it somehow to the good as only God can do. So I encourage you guys, spend time with your family, spend time in devotions, spend time with your children, if you have children. And uh, know again, it's a time not just of despair, it's a time of opportunities to even keep on growing in the things of God. God bless you, and we look forward to keeping in touch with you.